What is today? Today is St. Patrick's Day. Right, so I've got some green on here. So you've got all this great spring stuff that we're going to talk about today, but I, since we're doing it on St. Patrick's Day, I needed to wear green uh, and keep everybody on their toes. So we're going to start out as we are doing these days now. We're starting out with a little segment called About Mark Roberts, the company, myself, a little combination of both. And one of the things that I want to talk about is relates to this green, it's going to show you, and I'm going to tie this in in a second, is one of the organizations that we support on a monthly basis. And that is Doctors Without Borders. And the reason I'm tying it in today is uh, that flag in Ukraine is, as we all know, I think now, is blue and yellow. On the color wheel, blue and yellow makes green. You got it. So. What I want to talk about with Doctors Without Borders is one of, I think, 20 different organizations that we support on a monthly basis. And normally we do a uh, $500 check each month to the different organizations. Uh, I've got a check in my hand. I'll show you in a little bit later. We increased it. But what they do, they provide medical aid where it's most needed. It's often in areas of conflict and war, such as Ukraine currently. Um, provides life-saving medical and humanitarian care in over 70 countries. And quite frankly, they're doing a lot of work in difficult and dangerous parts of the world, whether it's COVID, Ebola, or major calamities, they really just are going where many people won't. So we see the bravery in the people of Ukraine, um, and we also see the similar bravery with people at Doctors Without Borders. So I think Brian's got, this, got their uh, website up on the screen already. And John, I'm gonna hold this behind my paperwork, but can you see the the check, we doubled our amount this month and we're doing a thousand dollar check. Can we see it? Can I move forward? There we go. Can you verify it? It's got the signature looks okay and the dollar amount is right. So we're going to put that in the mail today for them. We did it a few days ago, but with the last check run, but we're going to go ahead and do that. So if you want to do some support, just look them up. They're a great organization. I've been supporting them for many years and uh, hopefully some of you will find it interesting. Speaking of interesting, let's look at really one of the fun pieces that we have and it's actually a carry forward from a couple weeks ago's show, and that is this gorgeous swan that's over here. I wanted to showcase this a little bit more. Um, people have been picking this up and getting this, so um, great, great piece. That's a resin swan, wonderful piece, and then it's got the opening as a planter, and we've put the different flowers in there, the printed flowers. You know, we've got the check colored blue and yellow. Here we go, blue and yellow again. Blue and yellow roses the darker blue and yellow roses, the magnolias with the black and white stripe going on on them. It's just a great piece. And these fabulous butterflies, sparkling butterflies. Is that magical or what? That's just a clip-on. I mean, it comes that way, but you can unclip it if you want. I think you can unclip it. Yeah, you can. You can unclip it. Don't do something crazy like this. Don't do something crazy like this. I don't even have it right. Uh, but I guess you could. Why not? Um, if it was a girl and you got long hair, you could always pop it in your hair would be kind of fun, but I'm just trying to give you other uses for these things. I'm not going to put it in my hair, I guarantee you. Um, great piece, the swan, the swan bouquet. It's a really beautiful piece. Um, it's under $400, which is actually a great value at this point. So great, great piece. Goes on a centerpiece or somewhere. Fun piece to have. So now we're going to talk about some cute, cute, cute little chicks. And so I'm going to go over to the table over here and I'm going to it's going to be on the floor practically. I'm going to have to get down so low. But fun, fun pieces. We have two different ones. 
We did a, um, a post on this on Facebook, I guess, and the question was which one is cuter, whether it was this stack of three and they're all come together, they're all connected there, you know, totem pole stacking up there uh, on the grass-like base, or the set of three with the little resin flowers that they're holding in their hands. They're both darling as can be. So I think that the set of three chicks might have been a little bit more popular than the stack of three, but I think that um, from what I saw on what the retailers were asking more of was you guys wanted both of them. So they're real cute. They're great little gifts, great to have around or place anywhere. Really, really sweet, 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 sweet pieces. So we're going to go then to one other little sweet piece. John, I'm just going to crawl back on my knees here because it's not easy to get up and down. Are these sweet little egg, rabbits on the egg. Which came first, the rabbit or the egg? So um, it's close to Easter time, so we can say these things. But really sweet pieces again also. They're actually probably a true egg size. Uh, and then these darling little rabbits just sitting off there. Let me put her over here so she can be lecturing him or reading the storybook to him. But just a cute little set, very dainty uh, and elegant. Let's see, there we go, really cute. So cute little things. These are great little giftables, I would call. And these are going to be around $26.95, I think, for the set of two. And there's fun pieces behind them. Blue is our color today. These gorgeous blue and white vases. I love the crystal top. You can see that that's got a, it's got a glass crystal top. You can see that it sparkles and fa the facets of it is really nice. Got the gold um, metal part there and then the painted gold on these. I love these. These are individually. There's two different sizes. And there's going to be a couple other blue and white pattern pieces. There's actually quite a bit that we have. We're only going to show a few of them, but these are great to have in your kitchen or uh, living room. If you have blue and white in your living room, it would be fabulous. So speaking of living room, let's talk about some flowers. How about some poppies? And John, we've got these great, John's doing camera again today. We've got these great, John did these put these in the vases and they're just wonderful. Now I believe John you used two dozen, you used two, two bunches of 12 in this vase that brought home from, brought from home, but just dropped them in there. Not one stem has been cut and how wonderful is that because that vase is about maybe eight or ten inches tall, the crystal vase is about eight or ten inches tall and it just is just a gorgeous bouquet of poppies. How fresh is that for spring? If you live out here in California where I am, where we are, our poppies are going to start to come out real soon and it's really wonderful to see the poppies blooming in the spring. I'm not sure what time they bloom in other parts of the country, but they're sure fun to have. Reminds me of the Wizard of Oz as well. Then we've got two other vases of these poppies and there's a pink vase back there on the mantle. How gorgeous is that also? In fact, I'm going to just go back there for a sec and show you how he literally just dropped these in. Now he fluffed them out at different levels, but did you cut any of the stems, John? So he didn't cut any of the stems at all. So they're all loose. You obviously can cut them, and I'm going to cut a few in somewhere else, different flowers, but love these poppies in this crystal vase also. And then, wow, there's another one in all white, which is really elegant. So if you got that blue and white living room, how pretty is this? Similarly, none of them have been cut. John, I'm going to put this on the table for a minute because I want to put it in front of the blue and white vases. And how pretty does that go together? I'm going to take this away for a second so we can just see. I'll just switch them out, that's all. Just see the different pieces going on there. But how pretty the blue and white, how rich it goes together uh, in your home. So, and we'll switch out these displays. and. That's the versatility of a lot of different things. They just work in so many different ways. So poppies, flowers, really nice. nice. And while we're there, I'm just going to sit down for a second. Am I allowed to sit down on the job? Is the boss, is the boss around? Is he looking? Um, another vase. John actually pulled these also. These are all just tucked in. And they're just tucked loosely into the vase, as you can see. So they come out easily. But you've got three different color roses going on here. And all the flowers were, that are available on the marketplace are by boxes of 12. So and in this case, I'm not sure. It looks like you used about 12 of each or more? Less than 12 of each. Wow, OK, cool. So if you were to get three different colors, 
you'd have extra left over. So that, how nice is that? But these English roses, these are the right ones, Brian. The English rose, there it is. Yeah, really, really pretty going on there. And so pretty, great. Brian got the mix right, because I'm going a little bit out of order. Well, we've got these English garden roses. I'm also gonna show you some tea roses, or garden roses, as we call them. I think I have them correct. Yeah, in red and yellow. So, I think yellow is one of our colors today also, which is in this vase here. Similarly, and we put this on a rotator, so we can just spin it around a little bit. But really, this is a, just a urn with the little tea roses going on in here, or garden roses, whatever you want to call them. But a little set of three, very pretty roses. Just great. I have a lot of different silk flowers at home. I think a lot of us do, so that we can just kind of tuck them around and do what we need to do with them. But really pretty on those. Two different colors in there. There's about a dozen of each in there. Makes for a great, great bouquet. So we're going to move on from flowers, and now we're going to start to talk about some fairies, some elves, and some rabbits. So I'm going to go back to the mantle over here, the fireplace and the mantle. Fire's not on today, but it's starting to get cool again across the country. So, all right, what a great piece this is. The two rabbits, Mr. and Mrs., on the table base with the flower heart. How pretty is that? Uh, great combination when you got the two of them. And they're secured on there. Yeah, they're secured on pretty good. So they're not going anywhere. And they're still numbered pieces. Great piece with the different flowers mixed in. Really pretty. Then another one is, John, I'm going to go up to the mantle here. I'm going to flip around and space this out a little bit. These sweet, sweet ones with the furry rabbits. I'm going to actually move this out of the way because there's too much going on. Those furry rabbits on these tablescapes are just exquisite. They're so soft, and you've got all sorts of stuff going on them. Let's look at the small one first. You got the, the fairy. Let me move this out of the way still, because he's got, he's got Easter eggs going on, and butterflies, and flowers, and a rabbit. I mean, this is just like a really happy little scene. The larger one has a larger rabbit, obviously, and a medium-sized fairy on there, Easter fairy. And he's kind of sitting on the rabbit's back, so I guess he's going to hop him along to somewhere and finishes it off with a sweet resin egg with chicks going on in there and all sorts of, all sorts of stuff going on. And so, beautiful pieces. One last one, the white rabbit. How sweet is this again? The white rabbit with the white uh, wild daisies going on. This little girl, Easter girl, she's happy as can be. There's just a lot of good stuff going on in this also. Very, very pretty. She's got the little jewels, all sorts of pretty stuff going on here. Even some rocks, some river rocks that are going on. So you wonder what those are. Those are actual river rocks that are glued on there. Gives it a little bit more natural feel and texture and all of that. So, all right. We're going to look at some vases again, some blue and white, and then we're going to get into some more fairies at the same time. So back here on that top shelf is, I think, one of my favorite patterns going on. It's like a, um, almost like a tobacco leaf pattern, blue and white, so pretty on there with, and you can see the orange, orange flowers off to the side. How pretty would that be with yellow as well? Yellow and blue, orange and blue are both going to look really nice together. But this um, blue and white pattern on the vases, those have those same crystal tops on them, which is so nice. And the pattern, it's just a beautiful set, a set of three. It's not a set of three, it's an assortment of three. So you can get you know, any one size, two size, or all three size if you like. But really nice otherwise. And right below that is this pattern here, the triangle. I actually like this shape because I think it's kind of unique. It's actually a triangle. You can see that. Can we see that it's a triangle? We sure can. So it's a triangle vase, jar. The lids pop off. They have, again, that crystal, crystal um, top with the gold leafing going on on the sides. Really, really pretty pieces. I think you know I love blue and white. I think it's a really pretty combination. I love black and white as well. 
but I really like the blue and white for it to stand out and for something different. Okay, when I was looking at the studio up here this morning, early this morning, and was going to make a few changes, and I actually did. I took a flower out of here and put it in this little vase here because I didn't want to overdo it. I thought this was too much up here. So as I pulled it out, and I wanted to wait to show you because I did think it was too much. As I pulled it out, I realized Zhang had taken the bouquet of flowers and just uh, zip tied it. It's got two zip ties going on here. You see where my fingers are bouncing? So just zip tied it together. So all of a sudden this becomes a uh, European style bouquet that can drop into a vase, um, easily drop into a vase or even lay it around. Um, can I have, John, I'm going to go over to, I know we've moved some stuff, I'm going to go over to the coffee table. I want to show them what we can do with this vase right here and just drop this in and how simple and easy is that to stay in there. And the, uh, you know what? I did it too fast. I did it before John could get to me because we're having to move a bunch of stuff because this is unplanned. This is, you know, when we do this stuff live, we just kind of, I make their life miserable. You're good, John. Okay, so I'm taking the bouquet, took the lid off, drop it in. Uh, it's just, it's already there. It's gorgeous. How pretty is that then in there with the blue and white? You just kind of fluff it around. And it's just, this is a great color combination. Whether you did this with the yellow or with the yellow flowers or with the orange flowers, it's going to look gorgeous. So this is a little trick, that zip tie, those zip ties. I think you need to do two of them, one on each end in order to keep it stable. But it works really nicely. And now, John, I'm going back to the, the work table. And I'm going to have to move some stuff to do what I got to do. But I had these other vases that I wanted to pull out of here. I'm going to take like two out for now. And I'm just going to set this down. And I am going to cut the stems here. It's easy to do though. Just I don't know how long I'm going to cut them. but. The first one will tell me how long the second one is going to be. The second one's going to be shorter. And just drop a few of them into the vases like such. And I'll take one more. Because sometimes you don't want a lot of stuff going on. We want to make it a little bit more simple. And so all of a sudden that works easier to do that. And the vase works out real nice as well. And this can then just go up top. And now I made a mess on the floor, but we're going to just move that around. And I'll just stick, stick this here and ignore that for now. Okay, next, I'm jumping around. Oranges, we're still on oranges. Talking about color. And so we did that, you know, we've got the orange flowers going on here, here. The orange, the citrus, the look of the artificial oranges. Great sets. These come in, there's two sizes. And I think we have the two sizes. I think we have the medium here on the the large over here, but they're bags of boxes of 24. And just great have arounds to put around <laughs> in bowls, baskets, vases. I love them in the vases. I think you said a color statement, the line, the strong color of orange going up and down, um, the vertical line of orange, which is really pretty to accent some of the different flowered bouquets that are going on. So you got those. And then I love the formal, the orange topiary up top. I'm on my tippy toes right now. Um, but I love that it comes in the blue and white vase, blue and white bowl, I should say, or cash bow, um, with the really formal round ball of the oranges. So I love topiaries because they are formal, and I like that real structured look about them. There's just a little tuck of oranges and uh, asparagus fern coming out the bottom. It's all artificial, um, but great, again, for the kitchen. A pair of these would be great in your kitchen. And, or a family room, but I think the kitchen is where this would, for me, look the best. That's where I would put it. All right, let's jump to some bling. And that's going to be these sweet little spring bling girls. Brian wants me to go to the rabbit with the egg. So it's up on the screen. I'll do that one first, which is right here. Sweet, sweet piece. Speaking about the little girl, this little girl rabbit, she's got the, 
the ruffled ballerina dress going on on her. Really sweet. This is about, I don't know, eight inches tall? Is that what it says? Nine and a half inches tall. <laughs> Go figure. Um, really pretty piece. I'm going to move this out of the side for a minute, John, so we can see this on by itself. So there it is next to my crystal bud vase. You can see the size of it a little bit better. Maybe the bud vase is eight inches tall. That looks more, uh, more appropriate. Fun, fun piece. Again, a great little giftable type thing. Not that expensive and great to have around or use as a gift. Okay, now we're going to go to the Spring Bling girls. These girls are so cool. They're kind of over the top. Move this guy. I'm going to move this guy up here for now. Over the top because they are loaded with bling. So she's got the, I love her little sign. Angela made these signs for us. He always does a good job. This one is bling is my thing. So too cool. Uh, how, many does, how many people does that apply to? Bling is my thing. I think quite a few. She's got the larger, the medium sized one. She's got this great pearl diamonds going on with her, this uh, sparkling lace that's over top of this, almost like a yellow chiffon. It's real, real pretty. Really pretty stuff going on with her hair. She's got ribbons and jewels. I mean, this girl's just like outstanding. She's got little fairy wings going on. Look at the back of her. You know, I always say this, we don't skimp, whether it's the front or the back, wherever it is. You know, there's a double layer bow going on here with still the laces and this dress, which is just exquisite actually. Wow, and then a second layer on the dress of the pink. So she's really soft and subtle. So if bling is your thing, I suspect it might be, then this might be one of the ones for you. She's just really sweet. Her feet, really, she's gorgeous. She's got a lot going on. And there's two sizes in this. There's the large one, or the medium one, I should say, and the small one. Here's a little small one over here. The little small one has a little sign. Bling is still her thing. So you guys are good to go with these. But fun, fun pieces. These are one of the few that right now we have, hey, don't be difficult, for the few that we have, that we still have some of the mediums left. The stores may have, but the stores have been going through the medium sizes faster than the small sizes this year, which is quite remarkable and quite interesting to say the least. All right, I'm going to move, you can stay right where you are, John. I'm gonna just put these two girls together. The stands, as you know, are separate. So I'm going to stick those two there and then talk about this chocolate rabbit. Do you know anybody that likes chocolate or loves chocolate? I do because that's me. I like love chocolate. This is not real chocolate though, let's be, let's be fair. But you've got a chocolate rabbit. Pink is a great accent color for brown or for chocolate. So we've got here the, this is what it is, is the, what do we call this thing? We call it the golden egg rabbit cart. Go for it. So it's got the golden egg with the cart, and the chocolate rabbit is just kind of pulling this. And you can stick whatever you want in there. We chose to put some of these glass, and we're going to show you these, these glass ornaments that we did for Easter. If I can get that back in there, because it just kind of sets in there real nicely. But really pretty, and I'm going to grab a, I'm going to just jump in front of the camera for a second. Can you forgive me? I'm going to jump to the purple one also, because I like purple with brown and gold. How pretty is that? That's really pretty to me. And you can see the rabbit going on on there, which is really sweet. So you've got the little, we've, I've shown you a bunch of little, I think we got one or two more, little resin pieces that are sit-arounds for springtime and for Easter. And I'll show you a few more, but there's some really fun pieces. So let's go, we're going to go to the table next, I think. And we're going to, John, if you don't mind, we're doing this live and I set my phone down. Can you just turn it on silent? You can flip the switch to silent because we can hear it going off. It's dinging and making all sorts of noises. And so we both have iPhones, so we know what we're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I left my phone, thought I put it on silent, but no, not quite. Okay, two things I want to show you here and then I'm gonna, we're gonna have some fun. I think these are the last two, probably the last, no, oh, there's actually one, there's gonna be some best for last. Okay, some last two resin pieces. The rabbit with the basket, really sweet. So this actually comes with the little silk flowers in the back of his basket. 
And he's, how tall is he? Do I have a height on this? 11 inches tall, because I'm not really good on measuring. And then his little partner in crime, which is on my hand to the left, is a little bit shorter, it's like nine inches. He goes a little wider, where this guy goes a little taller. So, but really, again, fun little set around pieces that you can just put anywhere, use as a gift, and put out somewhere. Imagine putting something like this inside of a plant. John, can I have that beautiful planter bowl that we have on the coffee table with the herbs in it? And I think John brought this from home, so let's see if he kills me or not. It's actually really pretty. I love this as a Biedermeyer, Biedermeyer style, which is just a clean look over there. And imagine how cute when you just tuck something like that into it. Yeah. <laughs> John's like, wait, what's he going to do with this thing? So how cute is that to just kind of set something like that in there? Um, makes it kind of fun. He's walking through the herbs or the other fun ones here. Cute. It's just the point I'm doing is the versatility of something like this and the versatility of something like this, this little simple bowl that you can just add some different things to it um, for the season and then all of a sudden you now you're back to just spring and it's not just spring but it's spring. So, okay, we, you know, we do a walkthrough for the show, and, but we don't do a, we, there's always changes. So that's, again, that's something we always do. There's always sorts of changes going on um, at my company, so that's just what we do. So, John, I'm going to move this back because oh, I have to talk about this and what's going to be above it in a minute. But first is going to be these gorgeous hydrangeas. I mean, these are so pretty. The purple colors or lavender colors, it's just... I love hydrangea. I can't grow them. In fact, I can't even with fresh flowers. I don't know what I do wrong, and I started out in a flower shop for seven years. But I swear to God, those hydrangeas are the first ones to droop if you ever get the fresh ones in a mixed bouquet or something. So my trick is I get the mixed bouquets of fresh flowers, and I swear to God, I'll take some silk flowers like hydrangeas that I know are going to be difficult, cut the stems to the similar size, and tuck them in the bouquets. And you know, you mix a few silk flowers with your fresh flowers for some fresh bouquets if you're having people over. And nine times out of ten, they don't notice. So, and when they do notice, they think you're smart. So, you know, you're good either way. You know, you're, you get off with uh, um, extra brownie points, so to speak, either way. So, I love the hydrangeas. There's lots of different colors, I think. But we're doing these. And these are, these are bundles of six. Hydrangeas tend to be a little bit more expensive. Um, but you're still looking at $72 and some change for six of the large hydrangeas. So really nice pieces. And what do hydrangeas attract but bumblebees? Oh my goodness, bumblebees are so popular. And there's one more up there, John. Um, there we go. So we have these crazy, crazy bumblebees that John, I think that John was having just having fun when we were doing the spring line last year and literally took a, I'm going to try to grab it, a, these are styrofoam Easter eggs underneath. So there's styrofoam Easter egg, and we started playing around, and I don't even know what you put, I guess that's a, the, the head is a styrofoam Easter egg as well. So underneath this, I'm giving you our secrets. These crazy little, they're not even little, these crazy big bees are Easter eggs, styrofoam eggs, covered in fur, I guess Jong did that. I then put the trims, found some trims to wrap around them to give them some fun stripes, so to speak, and to make them look more Mark Roberts with the jewels. Of course, Jong took copper wire and made those antennas, which are just too cute. Um, and then the glasses, the, the little eyes, you know, they're cool eyes with the glasses. This is just a fun, fun piece. So this is the large one, and then the small one, so you can get a sense of the scale, is by my hand there, and I'm again on my tiptoes here. I've been doing Pilates the last couple of months, and this is helping because I can now do some of these things. So, but smaller size, they both have the bumblebee wings on them. But these would be fun also to actually. Okay, John, can I have that beautiful vase back again? Uh, I just took this guy down. I'm going to move this because I think we're going to be done with it. I bet he takes his vase of flower and just home, at home and never brings it back now. No, he's, he's a good guy. He's, he's nice. He's letting me. But these are just too sweet. I mean, come on. Too, too cute. Now, they are goofy. 
of course, playful. But actually, this is good to bring this down because, John, can we get a real close up of look at the detail inside the butterfly wings? There is some ribbons and flowers going on in there, and there's a blue and yellow, a blue jewel with a yellow flower, and then a pink flower, and then some black and white trim. So really, just sweet. I love this. For me, a vase like this is perfect year-round because I can do so many different things with it. And how helpful is it to have stuff like that? And then look at how this little ensemble looks. It's cute. You've got the bumblebee, the bowl of herbs, and then some cute rabbits. I mean. Too much fun, so. Okay, this was the most fun part I've had. All right, now I'm gonna give this up for the last time, I promise, at least until I need it again. All right, now let's move on to, uh, I love this piece. This is one of the favorite pieces. This is actually a, a ceramic piece. Can we see that? Can we get the colors good? It's really bright and there we go, so we've got pink and green and yellow and blue. Okay, there's lots going on. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So what I loved about this, it's ceramic, so you can stick different things in it. I want to put the, some of the glass eggs in there, which are so pretty. And those are the larger ones or the smaller ones? I'm not even sure. I think these are the, these got to be the smaller ones four inch. So, but this is a great piece, a ceramic piece. You can put, you could also put jelly beans in there. Jelly beans and M&Ms. Uh, if you do that at my house, they'll be empty pretty quickly. But a great way to have little, little snacks or little candies or sweets, uh, especially if you've got people coming over, kids or grandkids, little snacks that can go in there. Be just fun pieces, little caramel pieces would be good or you can plop a few eggs in there or something for something fun. While we're talking about eggs, there are two, si or two sets of these eggs, and I'm only showing you parts of them, but you can see them online. But there is the rabbit eggs, and they're all assortments of four. And so there we can see that. And each of them has the ribbon and a jewel, and then a decal of rabbits, the the ones that are rabbit, Easter rabbit ornaments. They're gonna have rabbit design on them. This is another one of them. And they're, again, they come as an assortment of four. I'm showing you two of them right now. You can see the others online. I'm trying to do this backwards, reverse, because I'm looking at the camera. But you're gonna see that the bows are different, the jewels are different, um, and they're just pretty. Now, I see some chicks, so I'm gonna reach over and grab a chick. And is there another chick in there? Yeah, there is. Wow, it's hard to choose which one I want to get. I guess since they're, uh, okay, these are the large ones. What's going on? Am I, le I'm, le <laughs> I'm leaning against the table because I thought that the, we locked the legs, but we didn't. So, you know, it could have been an earthquake for all I knew. They are laughing. John and John are laughing right now. Brian can't see it, so he's quiet back there. He's also a good guy, so he wouldn't laugh at me until later. So, but these are the ones with the chicks, and these are the larger size. The smaller ones are right in front of my face, but I missed them, but I'll show you those and we'll compare them. But here are some, three of the four of the chicks. What I wanted to show you was the ribbons on the tops. So you've got three different types of ribbons, three different types of jewels, and great little designs on there with the chicks. So if you get the little resin chicks that we saw at the beginning of the show, these might be fun to have around. And I will put these back, and I'm going to grab some of the smaller ones so I, we can see the size difference. Here is the small one. This one's one of the rabbit ones. So you can see the size difference between these. One's a 4-inch, one's a 5-inch. What I neglected to show you is what's on the back side. They all say Happy Easter. There we go. So you get a detail on the front and you get a detail on the back. Some people think the back is the front and what can I say in today's world? Maybe the back is the front, who knows? Okay, now we are going to jump to some more fun pieces. I need to put this, John, I'm just gonna put it over here, you're fine. This over here, cause I'm gonna start to work over here in a minute and show you some different things. Hey, 
at this. Made a mess on this table here. Okay, we have a great, I think we saw, we did this set last show in the black and white. I just want to show it to you in the blue and white, how sharp this is and how strong it is. Color-wise, it looks great, really um, spectacular. And look how pretty it looks next to the girls there, the butterfly girls, that are so pretty there. So we've got, you know, colors work really nicely. Again, the crystal tops. These, any of these jars you get, whether it's the black and white or the blue and white, and I think both of them are available from different retailers on the marketplace, uh, and maybe some other Mark Roberts retailers. If you want to uh, find some local retailers, ask us, post it in the comment section, and we'll get back to you later, and we'll try to find some local retailers for you, or email Rose at um, info at christmas-magic.com, and Rose will help you find some retailers where we can find some of these because they're great, great pieces and just wonderful pieces. I think house.com has these as well and maybe Paragold has them also. So you can check those places. All right, then I want to show you these pretty butterfly girl fairies. So these are the, the African-American Butterfly Girl Fairies in two sizes. We're getting very low on them. It's the retailers that have them, they're going to be, they're going to go quickly. So great, great pieces. I think I'm going to actually clear out this for a minute because I'm going to be working up here in a minute. I'm going to be doing a demo for you in a second. But beautiful pieces. I mean, wow. John, I'm going to move this. Actually, I'm fine where it is. I can just lean in here. Because I, what a, oh, great, goodness gracious. We didn't, we're laughing here. They're laughing behind because the table wheels we did not lock. So did he saw me move? It was kind of funny, actually. Okay, love this girl. All these beautiful uh, millinery type ribbon roses that are going on on her dress there. And then, I mean, this is a great damask that she's got fabric here. It's a great, great fabric. And on the back side of her, You've got this amazing bow. I'm going to flip this up for a minute. With, look at the detail that goes on in there. This is on her backside. You know, this is, again, some of the wonderful stuff that we don't, we don't skimp for you on this stuff. They're wonderful pieces. I know that you keep them for a long, long time, because I do. And while I don't have every one, I sure have a lot of them, and I sure enjoy them. And I actually enjoy giving them as gifts also. But how neat is she? She's got the butterfly going on in her hair two sizes. I think they both have all pretty much all the same details going on on them. Yeah. Love the arms, how the arms are kind of has this poofiness going on. There's a tight satin in there and then that poofy sheer that is along the outside of it. Really, really pretty. And then as we come down on that dress, we'll just, as we scale down, I didn't mention this white lace. How pretty is that? Looks really elegant, really dainty, and just keeps it real feminine, which is nice. All right. These guys can stay here. We're going to be good with those. I'm going to have enough workspace. I'm going to come back to this table in a minute. We're going to do these last few fairies, and then I've got some demo stuff to do for you. So the next, I'm going to come over to this little table here, and you should have seen us trying to hunt these out. So the first one we're showing. So now I'm showing you just small ones because even the medium size we took and shipped to the retailers. They, did, they wanted the last pieces because we really didn't have that much left. So the Rainbow Fairy we have in two sizes, which is this guy right here. I'm going to pick this one up. So the Rainbow Fairy, we brought back the Rainbow Wings, or excuse me, the Rainbow, the Rainbow, um, same material as the Wings, but the, the actual Rainbow that goes on behind the, the rainbow fairy. So he brings the rainbow to you. He's colorful, he's playful. I think that uh, one of our marketplace retailers, Bacchus House, is gonna do something with these for an event this summer. And I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with it, but they've got a big special event going on that's gonna be based around this. And I believe it has something to do with the Wizard of Oz. So if you're a Wizard of Oz fan like I am, these are great pieces to have. The larger one I'm going to pick up in a second, as soon as I put this one back on his stand. The larger one, I'm going to come around, John, for that. It's easier. The 
the larger one, it's got a lot going on in the center here. Let's see. Can you see him? I love all the color going on. This sequin is almost rainbow colored. I mean, it goes from green to gold to orange to pink to purple to blue, back to green. I mean, it's really a great com combination going around the border there to line it. And then I love the center. I love all the ribbons. You got a triple layer bow with this gorgeous big pink jewel going on here. And then are we able to, s uh, before we go to the bottom, check out this center here. Look at the details going on. Really exquisite. I mean, there's a lots of, I mean, if you like, if, if the I, bling is my thing, I guess I got to get that one because bling is my thing as well. Now we'll look at the feet. Actually, before we get to the feet, I'm going to look at the pants because I love this shimmering pink fabric. This satin is just, I mean, wow. Look at the, how the color reflects and bounces off of that so nicely. And then we get down to the feet, and what a great detail this is because it's got this big, fluffy, rainbow-like flower going on here, and then more of the rainbow details of color in his feet. So really just a magical piece. This is one of the few that I think we have, although I thought Backus House bought all of them because they're doing a huge event. We may have more coming in, I'm not sure. But regardless, there are retailers that will have these right now. They may not have them later though, so you might want to grab those while you can. All right, now we're going to do a few little small fairies because that's all we have to show you. And that is Welcome Spring which I think spring is like in two days, three days. March 21st, I think, is spring, so that would be three days from now. So here's the little welcome spring fairy. He's, you know, yellows, purples, great colors going on here. Does he come out of here, John? How do you have him tied in here? Oh, you got him. Cool. All right, so, and I love him nestled amongst all the lemons and everything, but sitting there on top of the plant, how pretty would that be with a stick in there? Or on that, I'm not going to bring that, um, what's it called? Herb pot bag. But it would look great on top of that herb pot, wouldn't it? You know it would. You know it would for sure. So, but how perfect would that be? I love it nestled with the lemons. I like all the color nestled against this. I'm going to actually take this pothos pot away for a second. You can see how we cheated and stuck it on that thing. But look how pretty that is with the yellows. Really pretty working together like that. And why I like that also is he's got the yellow flowers going on on him, so it works really pretty. Cute thing to do that I see people do sometimes also is put something in their hands. And we're going to actually talk about this. So I'm going to actually, we're going to talk about something at the end here. Let's see. I like it with the leaf. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here. John, you can leave it there because I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Okay, then after that we have, I think it's the... Butterfly boy. Yeah, this little butterfly boy. There he is. Thanks, Brian. Um, great, great colors. I love the purples and the greens going on here because this uh, patterned green with the embroidery is so, so pretty. And then this purple and gold stripe. This two-tone purple with gold stripe. Really, really pretty. And what's he got on his hands is, is the sign, become something beautiful. It's kind of like a, a statement. He's kind of telling you, become something beautiful. Choose, choose to be. And just what a great piece this is. Great colors, lots of good stuff going on. Not too many of them left, so capture those if you want some when you can. Really fun pieces. And then there's two more in here that I have to find. And that is the April Showers Fairy. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take him off because he's hard to find. He's connected. Oh, wow. Love this guy. Okay, this is a color combination that I love, and that is the blue and the green together. Just look at his knickers on his pants and then his lower legs. The shades of blue and green that we can see in there, and then the stronger green shoes that go on with that. But love this combination of the subtle colors of the blue and green together. Really, really pretty. And then you've got some yellow and whites going on back there, and a lot of great details going on. So he's got the um, raindrops on his shirt and also on the end of his hat. So that's what that signifies, is like the raindrops or water. So fun, fun guy. Love this guy. He is April showers. And we know what those bring is, as kids, we used to always say, at least when I was growing up, that they brought May flowers and we thought we were cute. But I guess it's true. 
Then this other guy that we have is the Monet's Garden. So great painter from another era. And he's got his paintbrush going on, and he's got his really spring pastel colors, which Monet was famous for, and just really subtle detailing going on. Another fun piece, if you know somebody who's an artist, or you are an artist, or you just like these kind of things, another great gift or another great piece to have. Okay, so I have one more thing to show you, and then I'm going to do a little demo, and I'll explain all that in a minute. But I'm going to walk this little egg over to the table. Now, we didn't check this. Let's see. Let me see. Yep, it's still there. Okay, good. So we call this a surprise egg for a reason. Okay, you can see already. If you're looking at the screen, you can see already. But it's got this really sweet golden rabbit that you can either have separately or together. But how pretty is this? this the egg itself is like a gray tone. It's very subtle gray, uh, very French gray, I'm going to call it with the gold accents that are there, and then this nice base with the gold leafing. But what a great little surprise to have that little rabbit. You could glue this rabbit in if you wanted, or you can just leave him soft like that. Um, just a great piece. I love this little piece. Um, it's, what is this? It says seven inches. I guess it's about seven inches tall. I don't have my ruler up here, but love this piece. Love the little, little sweet little rabbit that comes inside of it. And I know I'm going to knock this off and break it, so I am going to put this aside. And I just, I'm going to hand this off to Jong. And no, this doesn't go on top of that herb arrangement. But I bet it would work. OK, I'm going to do some demo stuff for you now. And the reason is, you know, at the beginnings of the show, I, was going to, I always talk about this year some of the charitable things that we do about the company. And on the back end, I meaning the end of the show, I want to just give you some insights, some ideas, or just talk to you. And one of the things, and this was impromptu, but this will be a good segue, is I love when I see people do stuff like this, where they put stuff in their hands. And why can't you? Yeah, good, good Zoom would be better on this, John. Why can't you? I think you can, is sometimes make it permanent. So take your glue gun, if you have one. Put some glue in this hand. I know they're numbered pieces, but they're also your pieces. And so they should be special and different. And so I'm just going to stick that on there. And come on, dot burn my hand. I use a variable temperature glue gun so that the glue is not super hot, which if you've ever been burned by a glue gun, you know all about what I'm talking about. But it's nice to just go ahead and add something to their hands sometimes. It makes it special. It makes it yours. And it's still a numbered piece. You've just added something fun to his hand. So, and the glue wants to, I need to hold it a little bit longer, which means I get to talk a little bit longer. So, and then just pose him. But it's just too cute in the kitchen. Hey, this glue is slow to dry. All right, it's almost dry. Fix this. But I like adding different things to them. Is he going to hold on to it? I think he's about to hold on to it. Sweet to do stuff like that because then it gives it scale. It gives it kind of brings it life into your kitchen all of a sudden because this guy's helping you do something. He's near where you make tea or something like that. And that glue is really hot. I guess I need to lower the temperature a little bit. I grab Jong's. I keep mine a little lower. So, but fun thing to do. So the reason I said this is a good segue is because sometimes we get something out. Sometimes we even get them. And we're surprised or disappointed or frustrated that something is not perfect. So I'm going to do some quick little, how can you fix some of these things? So Renee has these little fun things for me. I know kind of what's in here, but I don't know exactly. Uh, OK, this one's the hard one I'm going to do first, because he showed me what's inside here. So what is the problem with some of these? The reason I'm saying this is sometimes these are the, their last pieces, and they can't be replaced sometimes. 
And unfortunately, things happen sometimes in shipping and we just have to figure out what to do with them. So this guy, I'm just going to use this box to sit him. I don't even know what it is, but I think that there's something inside the, inside here that needs to be glued on and it's tiny. Ah, oh, I know exactly what it is. John, I, now I need you to give me a really close up. I'm going to put it on the table here because I'm sure a lot of you have experienced this. That is the tip of a finger. Oh my goodness. So it's there, it's his thumb. So, oh my goodness, now I've got to, now I've got to do this. Let's make sure this works. Crazy glue. Crazy glue and, le and lemon. Cr crazy glue and resin works wonders. So, I think the glasses are going on for this. So just a little dab, a small little dot of crazy glue. Come on, there it is. It's all going everywhere. And then I'm just going to stick this thing on there. And please cooperate. I always put too much on. Yeah, it's sticking to my finger now. I'm going to show you another way to also work with these things. Okay, so I have just successfully reassembled his finger. There it is. Okay, John, can we see the thumb transplant that I did? So it's back on there. You really can't tell. Give it a little bit extra time just to dry, just in case. But an easy solution to some of these things. Sometimes this stuff happens. I'm not suggesting that it always happens, and that, nor am I suggesting that you can always fix something. But, John, can I hand this off to you on this side here? Because I have three more to do, I think. Yeah, I have three more to do. I don't even know what they are, but I wanted to show you different ideas of what, okay, I know about this one because this one is mine. And when I got it out, Excuse me, when I had it out, come on, he dropped and I broke his ear. Now, some of you that like the elves, Terry and others, Harley, know that they don't listen, right? They don't listen a lot of times. Well, mine has an excuse because I broke his ear and I really broke his ear. Look at this. Can you see that, John? Can we get a good angle of it. I mean, his ear is chopped off. Okay, leave your camera, John, because I'm going to flip to the other side so you can see the other ear. Okay, now look at this poor ear. Now, I wonder he doesn't listen to me because I really broke that ear really pretty badly. So, anyways, for me, it's not the end of the world. I know it can be frustrating, but I think that I'm reminded of, gosh, years ago when I was really young, back in the 90s, I remember seeing a uh, a meet and greet for uh, a band who just released a new album. And the CD, the booklet that came inside of it, mine was mixed up. It had the pages mixed up. It was the only one. And uh, one of the band members said, you have a collector's piece. You have a unique piece. This is the first we've seen this and nobody else. And there were hundreds of people online. Uh, and so they'd never heard of that. So I always kind of took that as a um, make it your own, make it unique. So I have that unique piece still. So I was figuring out what in the world am I going to do to fix this ear that is such a mess. And so I've already got a couple things. I've got the hair that I can glue over it and nobody will know the difference except for 10,000 people that are watching this live and myself. But actually I'm thinking how neat is this just to tuck this right up out there because how nice, even though this doesn't go anywhere with him, you can see that it's different and all the different, there's red here and there's red up here, but you're going to see that it will work. I'm just going to put some glue on this. You just see how it will work, a little pick of something. Um, and this came off of another piece. So when I have a bunch of pieces, sometimes I can snatch something off. And I'm really just going to tuck that right on there, tuck a little hair underneath it, and it's kind of done. And I challenge anybody to say what's different about this guy. So, um, good news, he's going to listen to me now. 
But this is, again, this is one that actually fell off of the counter where I had it in the kitchen and crashed onto the floor and made a mess with his ears. He's still smiling, like he doesn't care. But I did, and it was special, and I didn't want to, like, well, everything else stayed intact. So easy way to just kind of fix something that happens sometimes, because these things do happen. So, okay, John, I'm going to hand you off this, and I've got two more homework pieces that uh, Renee actually gave me to do. I said, give me some different things to repair, and here's one of them, which was the one I did. The rest of them, he gave me real brief introductions on them. Okay, I remember this one. Easy, another easy one. And this is the same as the lemon. So, this stuff happens sometimes. This popped off. This is happy birthday. This popped off of here. Again, easy, easy things to do, just to tuck them on, hot glue it, glue them on. And you know what? I would actually use this opportunity. I didn't, I actually told Renee, give me just stuff that I can just do. That's obvious, I'll open the box and I'll see it. I would have added some extra pieces to it and made it more, more of a one-of-a-kind piece of my own. I would have added some extra ribbons kind of coming off on each side here and taken advantage of the fact that, hey, this thing came off, I'm going to fix it, but I'm going to make it a little bit different at the same time. Some, you know, ribbons or something, or, you know, if that beautiful bowl of herbs was here, I might tuck a few of those herbs in there under there, be kind of nice, but uh, I'm making fun. Jong's giving me a dirty look, but he's smiling at the same time. But I would add something to it to make it different and to make it my own. So this guy's pretty cool. I like the happy birthday fairy. I think we did had a cake here the other day with something. So, okay. Last piece, I'm glad this lemon is still holding on for this guy. The last piece, I don't know what it is. Okay, Renee, what did you give me? So if you have a glue, if you have a glue gun, invariably there's things that you're going to put it to use over. And this one is an easy one, I will admit. The ears are all fine, but actually I want to talk about something. This goes right up here. But I want to also show you that if his hand had broken and you didn't have the fingers, or it fell off of your shelf and fell into a thousand pieces, let's assume that thumb or a couple fingers were broken. Why can't you just put some hot glue and tuck this in there as such? And then nobody can see that. Nobody knows that. And all of a sudden, you've got something special. You could actually pull it off of, a, of the top of the hat where this came from if you needed to and go ahead and put it down there and then tuck something else up above. I know they're numbered pieces. I know they're limited edition pieces. But again, they're your pieces. And I like the idea of making things unique to myself. Uh, I would think that you'd like to do some, some of the same also because you should enjoy these pieces. This actually just goes back on his hat. But literally, if I broke his fingers, I probably would have taken this off. It goes back up here. I probably would have just pulled this off myself. And I would have maybe kept, a few, taken a few of these pieces apart and used part of it up here and the other part down here to cover up if he had some broken fingers. But he doesn't. So anyways, so I am showed you some of the different things that we can kind of do with our pieces when we're suffering and <laughs> something's happened to them um, to just kind of make them yours and special for you again. So um, today's St. Patrick's Day. Best of luck. The luck of the Irish to you. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. We really do appreciate that, all of us. There's like 50 of us here. Um, and I get to speak for all of them and to say thank you. We really appreciate it. We love the interaction that we have with everybody. We love still picking up every couple times a week. Jose picks them up. Um, the registration cards are still stacks and stacks of them. So you guys are still sending them in, whether they're from Christmas, spring, or both. But we appreciate that a lot. So we're going to see you in a couple weeks. And we're going to do another show, which is going to be, I believe, the Easter table. So I love doing the table setting shows. So that'll be a fun one to do. Um, we're going to bring out the big dining room table set. We actually put it on top of this and lay it all out. Um, and we will come up with something gorgeous for the table. We don't know what yet, but we'll find something and come up with something wonderful. So thanks so much, and see you again.